My grandfather's not my biological grandfather, but um, when I came along, I was the only fatherless sort of grandchild at the time. So he kind of said, yep, you're my son, practically, and that's how he treated me. He taught me everything from what your father's supposed to do, you know? So what your father's supposed to do and what your father's supposed to teach you. Um, he's the person that taught me that. This work is important because you don't have to do this for your stepchild. You know, you don't have to do this for your, for your step-grandchild, yeah? So for me, I'm like, all right, I don't have to do this for any of these kids, you know? But I'll, I'll stand in the gap for them and I'll teach them something good. No kid should look on while other people are having fun. My name is Peter Josephs. I am a 40-year-old father of two I'm from Auckland City and I, um, I facilitate basketball and I work in the community. I think the biggest thing that sort of appeals to me is violence is not our culture. That is the, the sort of slogan, the headline of the Father's Funnel, um, or of Lava Atumai, all of it. So um, for me, the Father's Funnel is, uh, is a platform where I can, where I can share just views, um, and hopefully some of my views um, can, can resonate with some, some of us and, and push help fathers who might be having a problem. So that's, that's where I sit and, and why I sit with Lava. But, um, Lev, I do do some wonderful work for our people. Basketball is my life. That's what I do. Um, uh, growing up, that's what kept me away from everything. I, I grew up in South Auckland. I grew up in Otara. Um, so very, it's in an impoverished area. For me, I got to see a lot of different parts of life that maybe a lot of kids don't get to see. But my my memories was of childhood was fun. Um, you kind of don't know any different, you know. So I grew up amongst a lot of trauma. I grew up a lot amongst a lot of um, um, violence and, and things like that. Um, not specifically in my household. So I've tried to keep that away as me from from my child. I don't smack my children whatsoever. So I remember that was one of my first thoughts: was like, I'm not gonna smack my kids. And I think that's um, it's come through. And my kids are really confident. Basketball is a great thing for anybody to learn. That's my tool to sort of push out the message that I want. I don't care if you build to be a basketball player, but if you become a good person, if it helps you down the track. So for me, it's not, it's not just about basketball. It's not about getting kids to play basketball. It's about giving them something they want to do that can help them, um, that they might not be getting from other places.